No more mm. So here it the card right? The covering. Oh, some like pop because we're very fibrous. Okay, that's the durameter. Alright, so let's turn you guys have a you should have a good picture of a cross section of the spinal cord. So the spinal has something like this. That one? Ew. Yeah, right there. Three teeth. Okay, so what are we looking for? What do we need to identify? Spinal canal. Okay, you guys are going to have, this is what you're going to have to do. Tap this around, take a look at it, and really, this seems like the best cut right here. Um, and if you, you have to kind of squeeze it so that you can see the different structures. But there is a very tiny symbol right there. You guys could probably see it, right? You see the little tiny yeah. tiny hole? What would that be? Tiny, tiny symbol right in the sun. Final canal. Okay? So make sure you guys pick this up and take a look at it. Yeah, you kind of have to squeeze. Okay. And so, see this picture, how they, they draw it out? This is like butterfly-looking uh, structure. Okay. What is that called? Gray matter. Gray matter. Okay. And the outer part would be? White matter. White matter. So, when you look at this, the gray matter is actually lighter. Okay. And it has a little butterfly structure. Okay. So, there is a dorsal side and a ventral side. Okay, which, which side is dorsal? Top. The back. Our back is the dorsal side. Okay, remember your spinal, the spinal cord is running this way. Okay, so there's the back, which would be the dorsal side, and the ventral side, which would be the front of your body. Right? Okay, so our little butterfly is situated in a way where there is the dorsal. Freeman? No. Medial uh, side. Okay, if you find your thing. The dorsal oscillus. Funiculus. Okay, and then there would be ventral funiculus. Funiculus. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so this would be, is we're actually referring to the white matter, okay, the dorsal funiculus and the ventral funiculus. And when you pinch this, you'll see the two little, here's actually we can see one of the little holes. Yeah. Ventral midline fissure. Fissure. Okay. So let me get my. Yeah, we also going to ask how do you know? How would you know which which way is dorsal, which way is ventral? It's, it's a little hard, but the deeper ridge here is your dorsal midline sulcus. Okay. And so that would be the dorsal funiculus. So you have to pinch them because they're not color coded. Okay? Non injectively, you can see the different structures like they veins in the arteries. And so if can you see the little uh, butterfly structure in there? So this is something that you guys are gonna have to kind of really take a look at because it's they're very tiny. But the the deeper the butterfly structure on top of the position. Yeah, it's on top of the hole. Yeah. Yours is kind of squished. <laughs> yeah, it's like right there. Okay. All right. So, what comes off of the spinal cord? The dorsal root ganglia, right? And the spinal root. Ganglia or ganglia? Ganglia. Okay. So that's funny. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. So definitely take a look at your spinal cord. Squeeze them. Take a look at them so that you can see that little butterfly structure that's the gray matter. Okay. And then so that you can make out, be sure that you can make out the dorsal side and the ventral side funiculus. Which one do you say was the The dorsal. The dorsal. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't see any dorsal any dorsal um, yeah, sometimes they'll have a little root coming off. And that's that's another way you can tell dorsal from something. 
All right? We 